In the early 19th century, a young and curious Charles Darwin embarked on a voyage aboard the HMS Beagle that would have a profound and lasting impact on scientific history. The journey, commencing in 1831, was initially meant to survey the coasts of South America but would evolve into something much greater. Charles Darwin, freshly graduated from Cambridge, took on the role of naturalist aboard the Beagle. His primary duty was to gather specimens of the plant and animal life encountered during the expedition. Little did he know that this journey would provide the foundation for his revolutionary theory of evolution. Darwin's meticulous observations and collections during the voyage were truly extraordinary. From the unique creatures of the Galapagos Islands to the diverse ecosystems of South America, he absorbed knowledge and inspiration like a sponge. His notes, sketches, and collected specimens amassed, forming the basis of his future work. A pivotal moment occurred on the Galapagos Islands, where Darwin encountered various species of finches, each uniquely adapted to its environment. This observation would later lead to his development of the theory of natural selection. He realized that species could adapt and change over time to better fit their surroundings, challenging existing beliefs about species remaining fixed. Throughout the voyage, Darwin's dry wit and sense of humor endeared him to the crew of the Beagle. His eccentric habits, such as dedicating eight years to studying bonacles, became legendary among the sailors. His diary entries often contained wry remarks about the quirks of nature and the peculiarities of his fellow crew members. As the Beagle returned to England in 1836, Darwin had not only amassed a remarkable collection of specimens, but had also undergone a profound transformation in his thinking. He had witnessed the grandeur of evolution at work in the natural world. While it would take another two decades for his groundbreaking book, On the Origin of Species, to be published, the seeds of his revolutionary theory had been sown during this remarkable voyage. In retrospect, the voyage of the Beagle was not just a nautical journey, but a voyage into the heart of the natural world and the human intellect. Charles Darwin, the inquisitive polymath, had set sail as a young and eager naturalist, and he returned as a harbinger of one of the most significant scientific revolutions in history. And so, we remember the voyage of the Beagle as not merely an expedition, but as the catalyst for ideas that would forever alter our understanding of life on Earth. Charles Darwin's voyage was indeed an adventure of scientific discovery and intellectual transformation, leaving a profound mark on the pages of scientific history.